Welcome back to Wickerson Studios. Finish the uh, fourth or the third Grasshopper script for NumPy into Grasshopper. And I have an interesting uh, indexing with slicing steps, which I promised you from the last video. So here it is. It's not too hard. I baked a little bit of geometry on here, which I can get rid of. Um, it's kind of a strange uh, girder or uh, just a steel structure stream. And I wanted to show how I'm kind of generating that um, with uh, zero through just a nice series. Uh, pulling that into, even though it's grafted here because of the way I came up with the data, you probably don't want to do that because you have to flatten the list going into the node, which seems to slow it down. But the node itself uh, runs pretty nicely. This should not be here. Um, runs pretty nicely here. Here it is. Um, pretty simple. Not too hard a script, uh, but it is dealing with 3D array, which is the best thing. So you can process 3D arrays, change your data up very fast in Visual Studio Code. Once you learn how to do some operations on that, and just think of this as a more complex list of lists of lists, which will move us towards data frames into pandas. Um, and with that, uh, this moves pretty quick. I can start my series at, I can lessen my series. I can extend my series and I can step through it. Um, if I step through it all three, it'd probably be very minimal. If I step through two and if I step through one, it's going to become pretty dense. And if it's pretty dense, that's fine. I can deal with that. Um, but I don't think I need it that dense. And I could always lighten the density by bringing off one of the numbers at the ends. Uh, if I want to not extend it so far, and I can bring it off the other side as well. So a really nice way to start calling, controlling 3D arrays and thinking of them geometrically in their multiplicity within Grasshopper. So that's it. And we can pop back out this. My script is fairly simple. It'll be with the download. It's not too hard. Just using the data to drive a grid structure. And that grid structure can then drive um, simple movements up and you can see how it steps through nicely and raises and has this kind of twist and torque and then all I did was find the middle points on it uh, explode those edges um, then bring those all together with this this and this so I have this nice line work and that's pretty much the extent of what the script does it's not too complex at all and then all I'm doing is throwing that through a join curve and into meshes and you can choose which size uh, radius you want, caps, joining them if you want, number of sides on those uh, mesh pipes. And then I just put on a little tiny uh, base just to crop off, just to cut off anything that dips below because the geometry itself, you have parametric control over how far down you want those little tiny things to come from being flat on the surface. That's it. It's a nice little geometry with a lot of cool parametric control. Um, scripts are really, I don't make scripts more than a couple of dozen nodes in Grasshopper, but the main key here is that we are driving it from Visual Studio Code with hops in the data visualization, and we have kind of lightning speed operations uh, dealing with that, and the bonus is you have the possibility of running anything you want into um, 3D um, NumPy operations to produce arrays, and once you get the data you want, you can set forth on getting the models that you want. So that's it, pretty straightforward and simple. I think it's nice. I'm just going to crop this back, put this in here, take a visual maybe of it, uh, just to show how simple it is. And just to go out with a bang, I think I'm gonna try and put this render into pen and just see what it does. It's probably gonna get very mad and crash on me, but let's see how long that takes to pull up a render. If it just crashes out, then I will simply close up my um, recording in my stream. So we'll leave that maybe to work, maybe it won't, but thanks very much for watching and we will continue with this next series on, um, let me go back to it. The next stuff coming after Boolean unions is we are going to go hard into Right here, we're gonna go hard into random number generation with our next script. It's gonna be very exciting. And yes, we are crashing out because <laughs> that's just the nature of it. All right, thanks very much for watching Wickerson Studios and you can get all the data and all the recordings at www.wickersonstudios.com.